All right, check this out. Here we have a MSI GE66 with an 8-core i7 and the RTX 3070. The display is a 300Hz Full HD panel. Now this video will demonstrate a CPU bottleneck. The game tested today is Overwatch at the default ultra setting with 100% resolution scaling. With RivaTuner Overlay monitoring our stats, place your focus on GPU utilization. In many titles, it takes a very strong IPC instructions per cycle or instructions per clock CPU to maximize higher tier graphics cards such as this 125 watt RTX 3070, especially at Full HD resolution. Now if our CPU was let's say twice as fast, GPU utilization would be near or at 100%. When GPU utilization is at 100%, that means the graphics card is at its maximum performance. Because of this, we're witnessing lower than expected frame rates. The 125 watt RTX 3070 would easily average 300 FPS otherwise, ultimately taking advantage of this 300 Hz display. In situations like this, expect cooler temperatures on the GPU when it's not fully utilized, but also expect higher CPU temperatures as it works harder to push the graphics card. Now, CPU utilization percentage is based on threads loaded. So a 50% load would mean all 16 threads are at 50% or 8 threads are at 100% and the other 8 are at 0% as well as anything in between. CPU utilization does not need to be at 100% to provide evidence that it's a bottleneck. Utilization here is only based on loaded cores and threads. Examples like this are exactly why NVIDIA chose Ultra HD resolution to showcase RTX 3000 performance over the previous generation. So here's what I think. If CPU IPC moved along as quickly as GPU performance did over the last 10 years, we'd have amazing 1080p frame rate performance. Make no mistake, NVIDIA would prefer to show you higher numbers on a resolution that's more popular than 4K.